Hello, my name is Dr. Samuel Shem. This is my wife and co-author, Dr. Janet Surrey. We're here to tell you about our play, Bill W. and Dr. Bob, about the founding of Alcoholics Anonymous Off-Broadway. My name is Bill W. and I'm an alcoholic. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Time like this, I wish my partner could be here, talking about the man we all call. Dr. Bob, alcoholic. <laughs> Good to be here, sober. Steve's a psychiatrist, I'm a psychologist. We've been working with addiction for years. And we've actually been working for 25 years on this play. It's been produced around the world. Many alcoholics don't seek treatment, but for those who do, the best known option is Alcoholics Anonymous. Now a play which tells the story of the founding of AA is making its Australian debut. It's the final week of rehearsals for the play Bill W and Dr. Bob. These two men shared Bill passing on what he learned to Bob, and Bill and Bob passing it on to Billy Dotson went around the globe after 75 years and has reached millions of people. This amazing story is not just about the men, it's about their wives, Lois and Ann, who founded Al-Anon family groups that many of you have been helped by. We are now doing something that's really historical. It's never been done before off-Broadway. It's our dream, and that is to bring it back to a 200-seat off-Broadway theater, but in a new way, which is not for profit. Any revenues that come from the play, in fact, go back to Hazelden Foundation Treatment Center for scholarships for youth, and then to fund a national college tour to deal with the epidemic of binge drinking on campus, which is really horrible right now. From the very beginning, we wanted to celebrate the power of recovery in the 12 Steps, to educate people about the 12 Step programs, to reduce the stigma that still exists around addiction and alcoholism, and to finally to be a vehicle to carry the message to those who still suffer. We've seen people see the play, people have been in relapse who've gone back or have gone to their very first meeting. We see the power of what this play can do. This play has effects. It hits people right where they live, which is their suffering of addiction. And in fact, even if you don't know anything about Alcoholics or Alcoholics Anonymous, this play is meaningful because it's about suffering. Alcoholism was spiritual boot camp for me. That's where I got to develop compassion. So join us in this historic journey and the fulfillment of our dream to bring this back and make it an icon in New York City where people from all over the world, if they happen to be going to New York, they say to themselves, hey, you know what? That's the AA play, let's go see it. Thanks so much. We'll save hundreds, thousands, millions. Let's just get one more. <laughs>